Hey guys, King Gath here to talk about Industrial Revolution. In this video, I want to talk about the branching upgrade system and the tech tree system of sim settlements in the advanced industrial plots. Now in front of me, I've got two of the scrapyard plot, which I'll get this out of the way now. I did reuse the three models from the base industrial, uh, but I will be replacing those with different ones in a future patch to make sure that it's very distinct which of the uh, plot types you have without having to look up and check the post. So that out of the way, uh, let's talk about how the branching upgrades work. In this initial build of Industrial Revolution, the Advanced Industrial Plot has five options at level one. From there, as each upgrades, there are two options at level two, and then each of those has an additional two options at level three for a total of 35 different possibilities out of an Advanced Industrial Plot. Now, one of the things you might wanna do is take control of the direction down the paths and tech tree that your buildings take. You'll notice the one on the left has upgraded down one of the paths. Now if I wanted to make sure that this one went down the other path, what you would want to do is change upgrades advanced to manual. Now this is something I covered in the 2.0 patch notes video, but if you haven't seen that yet, essentially you go into your zoning laws and at the very bottom there are two options, advanced, uh, I'm sorry, upgrades and upgrades advanced. Upgrades controls your standard buildings. That you'll probably want to leave on automatic, though there are reasons you might turn it to manual, which I described in that other video. Uh, but Upgrades Advanced specifically controls buildings that have these tech trees, which as of right now are just the advanced industrial plots. So changing this to manual basically sets it up so when the building's ready to upgrade, it will just stay at the level it's at until you issue a command to upgrade it. Now, you'll see that this is pulsing green. That's from a new ASAM vision mode that when you turn it on, it will find any buildings in your settlement that are awaiting you your command to upgrade them. And you can give that command on the ASAM sensor menu. There's a new option called Upgrade Building. When you select this on an advanced building, you're given the options that are available to you to fork that building. Now, th right now, both of them are available, and that's because this is a very basic plot. Now, I've mentioned tech trees many times, and this is where it comes into play. Sometimes you're going to come on here, and you're going to find that there's only one option, and occasionally no options for you to upgrade. When you find something like that, you've run into a tech requirement. So tech requirements are basically little bits of secret essentially uh, as your settlers discover new buildings and unlock them they will open up new tech trees so that some of your buildings will gain access to different technologies uh, there'll be things like combining different things together and a lot of them follow very simple real world logic so if you're looking for a clue as to how they would work you got to consider about how actual real life technology works and sometimes you'll just need to start working on upgrading another tree so for example let's pretend that this one has had some sort of requirement to get to the other level, what you'd want to do would be focus on the other branches. So you'd work on your lumber, you'd work on your water, you'd work on your oil. You'd want to start upgrading those and then come back and check this and see if it had unlocked a new upgrade path. Now, alternatively, you can just ignore these manual upgrades and let it happen organically and your settlers will start making new discoveries without you having to do anything. But if you're looking to kind of collect them all and find all 35 buildings, uh, that's kind of the path you'd have to go. Now, one of the things I did build in to help you maintain a little bit of sanity in that regard is that if a building requires an earlier level so let's pretend to get the other branch of that junk tree you needed a paper mill yeah. now this thing upgrade now let's say this thing upgraded to paper and then upgraded to a tier three which is something totally different it would still count as that paper requirement so once something once a building counts toward a requirement even if it upgrades Ooh. again it will still count toward its previous requirements so you don't have to worry about micromanaging all of your buildings you just have to just have to gain access to them at some point and then don't demolish that building and it will still continue to count toward the requirements. So that may be unclear. Please please feel free to hit up the forums and ask for clarification uh, if I'm unclear on any of this stuff. I know it's complex. And as always with all of this stuff, it's all entirely optional. You can completely ignore all of these things I've just said. But if you're looking to get down and dirty and take control over your settlements, technology trees, that's kind of how you do it. Okay, guys, uh, I hope I was clear on all that. I hope uh, I wasn't overwhelming. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the balance and space management ideas behind Sim Settlements Industrial Revolution.